Welcome to Coco's Crafts. This week, I'm making these console tables in 112 scale. These are the perfect addition to any dollhouse. I made them in two colors and use a painting technique that gives it a vintage look. So let's get it started. I created this pattern for you to follow along with. You can download it for free in the description below. To start, we are going to cut four pieces of the console table top one using cereal box cardboard. Glue four pieces together. Make sure to have the back side of the cardboard facing out. Make sure to press firmly to get a good bond. Sand the edges to make a smooth finish. Next, cut four pieces of console table top two. Glue them together. Again, make sure to make the back side of the cardboard facing out on the front and the back. Now glue these two finished parts together. Make sure the top of the two pieces are aligned straight when gluing. Leave an even gap on both of the left and the right sides. This will make a nice layered look on the finished piece like this. Now we cut two pieces of console table trim. Cut it and glue onto the cereal box. Keep this part, it will be the tile base for the top of the table. Glue this piece on the printed side of the cereal box and cut it out. This piece will sit right here. Now we're going to make the two back legs. Cut seven pieces of each back leg and use the glue and cut method as shown. When you're gluing, make sure the edges line up. Press firm. After you're finishing the seven layers, the back side of the cardboard should be facing out. Don't forget to sand it. Here we have two pieces of the back legs. Here we're at the trickiest part of the project. They are the front, left and right legs. Use the same method as the back legs. Cut the first piece, then glue onto the cereal cardboard. Cut the second piece, and so on. You will need four pieces for each leg. Again, 
make sure to have the back side of the cardboard facing out on the front and the back. Cut four pieces of console table bottom one and glue them together. Cut four pieces of console table bottom two and glue them together. Glue these two finished parts together. Make sure the top of the two pieces are aligned straight when gluing. Leave an even gap on both the left and right sides. Now we got all the parts. I am applying two layers of gold colored paint. Make sure the first layer is totally dry before applying the second layer. After the gold color is totally dry, I mixed light blue and green to make a turquoise color. Apply two layers as well. After the paint is totally dry, we will send some turquoise color off to make a vintage look. This is what it will look like. Now let's assemble the parts together. First of all, glue the trim onto the tabletop. Now glue the two back legs into the two notches on the table bottom. Glue the two S-shaped front pieces as shown. Finally, we can glue the tabletop on. Make sure the back legs stick into the top notches on the bottom of the tabletop.
Now take out your tire base piece. We're going to make the tie top. Sand it down until it fits into the tabletop perfectly. I printed off some tire designs. They are about 1.5 cm squared. Cut out the shape and glue onto the base. Attach some clear packing tape to the tie piece in order to make a shiny surface. Trim the excess and glue it on the tabletop. For the finish, I am using Mod Podge to give it a shiny look. For this piece, I used two coats of gold and two coats of black. Then you sand it off. Let me know in the comments which color you like best. Next week, I will show you how to make miniature plates out of paper. Stay tuned. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.